from the Ford Sports Station, here's Sports Director Spencer Davidson. Good evening. Well, 38 nations from well, 38 teams from 28 countries have converged here in Utica to compete for a title at the World Lacrosse Box Championships. There are a few players participating who have been able to come home to do so. One of those players, New Hartford native Jake Yakov Soberlicht, who I had the chance to catch up with tonight at the Adirondack Bank Center to get his thoughts on this once in a lifetime experience. Before, before we even get into anything, does this look, does this look familiar? Yeah, baby. Look at oh, that. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a beaut, right? That's a beautiful yeah. thing, man. Yeah, a relic at this point, though, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're not. We're not getting that old yet. Fifteen years, pretty crazy. Yeah, right? These rafters, these seats, still remember sure, that. Yeah, that maybe, is true. They've gotten a paint job and a couple, a uh, little bit of a face Just a bit. Up, yeah, still remember. Just a bit. Um, no, this is this is quite the treat, man. One of my my best friends of all time growing up. Um, obviously, you know, living halfway across the world right now, um, to do what you're doing. And you've played in you've played in this event before, right? You know, and it's the first time it's in the United States. You're playing for Team Israel, and y you get to come home to your home area in Utica and play at a building where you know you grew up in, basically, to play for a World Championship. Just, I, I mean, what is what is it like for you to, to kind of have this moment and be here competing for a world title? Totally, man. I appreciate the question, Spence, and I appreciate you coming out. And definitely one of my best friends growing up, so I was uh, happy to do this. And it's interesting because, you know, being in Israel for 12 years, um, that's kind of a home as well. So on one hand, it's an away game. On the other hand, it's a home game because I get to come home to a place that I grew up, a place where there's a lot of community, a strong sense of, you know, family and friends. And, you know, beyond that, uh, everybody here at the Nexus Center, at the Adirondack Bank Center, the staff, all the way down to cleaning the locker rooms has been extremely professional, um, really making the players here and the, the athletes and the coaches and the staffs feel like we are professionals and this is a world-class event. So huge shout out to them. And yet, you know, where Utica has come um, and New Hartford has come as far as like sports and the development of the city, um, it's been so, so beautiful to come back and see it. Um, and kind of get snapshots of it, right? right. I, I haven't been here for a while. Yeah. Um, I get to come once in a while and to see, you know, how far it's come in such a short amount of time. And on top of that, you know, I, I'm lucky because I've had team meals. I've had families in the community host my teammates. You know, I've got them all over the neighborhood sleeping at families' houses to kind of cut costs on this trip uh, just because our budget is tight this year. So um, to come back and be able to experience that, you know, playing and for me, that's one thing. but. For me and, and the team as a whole to be able to feel that, that's that's truly special. I mean, you mentioned just kind of like how much Utica has grown and to kind of be able to see that from afar and to now be a part of, you know, playing in these facilities. I mean, what have been, you know, your impressions of playing here at the Odd with the way it is now, you know, with the Nexus Center now right next door? I mean, what is that? How cool is that sure. to see? Uh, I would say kind of the biggest thing is, you know, all the floors, the three new ranks, the three floors they have over in the Nexus Center. Um, and, and why is that important to me? Because like we said, we grew up here. We got to play hockey growing up here. Um, I'm huge about giving back to the game. You know, it's given me so much, uh, whether that's lacrosse or hockey, just sport in general, being able to give back and having these rinks, having so many surfaces to play on, that's gonna attract more and more kids to the sport. I know that sport, lacrosse uh, in general, has you know, given me so much and taught me a lot of values of life that you know, it's such a special and important tool um, that I just want to pass forward to, to kids and it's just more it's more important and more special to me that I can pass it forward to kids in Israel and now kids in Utica and, and New Hartford that's wicked special and you've become very involved in Israel lacrosse and growing the game there you know like you mentioned um, you know but 2013 you know uh, you go over there right and and people are starting off their careers may be here in the States and you took a different path and you're overseas now and you become a citizen of Israel I mean just what was the decision, you know, what kind of went into your decision to decide to move, uh, you know, to make Aliyah, move up, uh, around across the world and to, you know, become a citizen? I mean, what was that process like? Yeah, so um, because of my Jewish heritage, um, I'm granted, you know, the ability to become a dual citizen. Obviously, I've been living there for almost 12 years now. Um, as part of that, I've served in the Israel Defense Force, so that's been a meaningful experience for me. You know, when I first moved there, I didn't know if it was going to stick forever. Um, but then kind of when I started with Israel Across, and as I mentioned earlier, I got to see kind of the youth development and how much that the sport has to offer to young kids. And we work with kids in the periphery, kids who are underprivileged, kids who just have less and are less fortunate. And to see 
how powerful of a tool that the sport can be in their lives, what it can give them, the opportunities it can give them. You know, that was super important. You know, it was meaningful to me. Um, you know, I had buddies and, and peers who picked up after high school or after college and they moved straight to New York City to, to get a desk job. And, you know, I respect that, but it wasn't something I was ready for. And, you know, after I start seeing kids and the changes that lacrosse could make in their lives, you know, I was hooked. I want every kid to be a good lacrosse player, but at the end of the day, I just want to open doors for them and prop them up as best I can. Speaking of, um, you know, opening some doors and kids growing up, I mean, I know that, you know, you looked up to your, your older brother growing up um, in New Hartford, and, you know, he's not the, the box lacrosse coach, but he is the, the head coach of the Israeli field lacrosse team. So what has that experience been like to play for your brother as the head coach, but also just to kind of share that experience of representing the Jewish state, of representing Israel on the international stage alongside your brother, you know, thousands of miles away from where you guys grew up? Yeah, yeah, Spence. It's, uh, it's definitely very meaningful um, and I mean all those things that I just talked about as far as giving back to the game and being able to you know help others you know we, we came from a, a lot of privilege as far as our opportunities and we're talking specifically about sports right you know I my parents had, had the means to, to take me and pay for my travel teams and take me to every game whether it was four or five six hour drive away you know a lot of kids don't have that and these are kind of values that obviously my parents impressed upon me but uh, my older brother Max impressed upon me, so you know I, I try to you know emulate him and, and those things that he taught me as best I can. Um, and now the the fact that we can do it together is great, and the fact that we can represent Israel, especially at you know difficult times like these, you know in Israel and, and in the world, right? There's so much conflict in the world. We want to put our best our best foot forward for the state of Israel. Treat people with fairness and kindness and respect, uh, and those are all values that. You know, we hold a, a, as people, as a team, as a country, um, and, as a, a, and as a family. So um, it was important to me and, and super special that, that I got the opportunity to do that, and uh, hopefully I get to continue to do it. You know, you mentioned there's so many um, things that are more important right now going on than winning a world championship. But, but at the same time, to represent Israel in that light, to be able to potentially win a world championship here where you did grow up, I mean, what, what would that mean for you? Yeah, um, Spencer, it would mean a lot, man. I mean, you know, we all pour a lot into this. Um, and, and as an athlete, and I mean, you're an athlete, you know how much winning means. At this point, though, uh, winning, yes, it would mean a lot to me. But at the end of the day, you know, these kids that I talk about who are underprivileged and less fortunate, I, I'm just here to give them a voice, man. They deserve it. They've taken a leap of faith with us as Israel across uh, to go against the grain. You know, soccer, basketball, those are the popular sports in Israel. So to take a leap of faith, you know, be brave, um, and to try a new sport like lacrosse, you know, I want to give them a voice, a voice that they deserve, even though sometimes they don't have the means to be here in the United States or play uh, here in the World Championships on this international stage. It's important to me to, to be that voice for them. Obviously, we have a lot of history here, winning the state championship 15 years ago here in this building. It's just to kind of be back and, and be at this point in your life, um, but kind of always have, like, I guess it kind of always draws you back to, to this area. Um, I mean, what is, you know, how, how cool is that to, I guess, always have this home base no matter where you are in the world? You know, it, it, like I said in the beginning, man, like this community has, you know, when I was here it was really special, but to be able to come back and feel that outreach and feel that community and that warmth and that love um, is huge. Um, you know, I try to do my best. Uh, I've been setting up team meals at, at local spots, at Giorgio's. We ate from Ventura's the other night. Um, I've been directing guys to the New Hartford Barbershop and to Gentleman's Corner, uh, doing my best to kind of just like support local, uh, local businesses because this place, uh, you know, is so special to me and ha has given me so much. But Spence, like, you know, home really is where the people uh, are that care about you and that make you feel that way. And, and luckily there's so many around here in this area that have made me and us feel that way that uh, it's easy, it's an easy landing for me. It's been such a such a trying time, like we've we've already mentioned for Israel, also in you know just the world. But you know, obviously, in this time of information being thrown all over the place, I mean, what what is something that maybe you would like people to know about the state of Israel that you know maybe they're not getting from you know what you're seeing out there right now because of the times? Yeah, totally. I mean, I appreciate the question. I don't think there's any right answer really. Um, I think there's a lot of hate out in the world right now, um, coming from all different directions. Um, and, you know, I think that us as a state, us as a team, 
uh, us as people. We, we want to reach out a hand. We want to be kind. We want to treat people with fairness and dignity and respect. Um, you know, I don't, I, I can control what I can control. Um, and as the captain of Team Israel, that's kind of part of our team identity. Right. Um, and, and, you know, being here in Utica with you know, 32 teams, I think it is 32 different countries, we have that great opportunity to do that. And, you know, uh, it's full circle, right, as far as uh, lacrosse being called the medicine game. Yeah. You know, at first it was kind of like, yeah, I play lacrosse because it makes me feel better. But at this point, at this point in time, um, at this point in history, it's truly special to be able to be here and represent Israel in this international kind of community, um, meet other people, learn about different cultures, learn about where they come from, learn about their stories, and, you know, teach them and show them, you know, what our values are and uh, uh, what our identity is. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm super lucky to do it. I'm super grateful uh, to be here, super grateful for the Haudenosaunee for sharing the medicine game with us. Um, so, you know, that's, you know, a huge reason that, that drew me to lacrosse and, and keeps me coming back. The power of sports, right? Totally, man. Unbelievable. Totally. Jake, thank you so much for doing this. Yaakov, I should say, thank you so much for doing this. This is an unbelievable treat. Good luck the rest of the way. Obviously, we're, we're going to be keeping in touch, but it's awesome to see you out here. And, you know, hopefully uh, you'll, you'll come away with a medal here in Utica. It'll be unbelievable. Thanks a lot, Spence. I just want to finish by saying, yeah. dude, you've been doing a great job with, with the sports here in, in Utica, New York. And, uh, you know, I appreciate the work that you've been doing. And, putting the spotlight on sports around here in this area and that means a lot to me and definitely all these uh, guys and countries out here right now so appreciate you man some of the best memories growing up have each other in it right i mean totally unbelievable totally man it's, it's state, been a, yeah state champs no one's taking that from us man state nope. champs chico in the basement it's just <laughs> unbelievable you gotta love it all, all right, right man. man well good luck thank you so much Thanks, for doing brother. this really appreciate, appreciate it. it yeah dude uh, good well stuff, done man. dude well yeah, done thank you